Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fearless Floyd Show. I'm your host, Fearless Floyd. Tonight's topic is part three of a four-part series that we're doing. This is on the IRS obtaining your tax identification or employee identification number. And without further ado, we'll get cranking on that. So, basically, uh, IRS.gov, and uh, when you go to this website. There's a bunch of different stuff you can click on here. Right here. Okay, you're on the walk in. And right here, you begin the application. Just click on that link. And here we go, there's page two. It says, what type of legal structure is applying for an EIN? Right here. Down here, the estate. An estate is a legal entity created as a result of a person's death. Imagine that. This is the next page. Confirm your selection of the state. Over here and you hit the continue button. You can read this if you want. What is an estate? Or a descended estate is a legal entity created as a result of a person's death. An estate consists of real and or personal property of the deceased person. The estate pays any debts owed by the descendant and distributes the balance of the estate's assets to the beneficiaries of the estate. Oh my God, who's the beneficiary? An estate mm -hmm. arises on a person's death, whether the person died with or without a will. So. Just authenticate. And you want to put your name in there with your middle name. Put it up here. You won't recognize it. But you see it has a place down here for your social security number. TIN number. I'm not seeing what you're looking at. Let me uh, <laughs> go back and share the screen. See that? Not yet. Now I do. Yep. So put your middle name in there. Just like yep. you normally would have. Of course, it's going to ask you for your social or tax identification number. Yep. You see it's formatted and it'll go either way because the TIN is a two digit uh, prefix number. But anyway, hit continue. Once you put your social in here, I left it out to do this screenshot, even though it's public record anyway. You remove your middle name though, right? Well, you, you put your middle name in there. Okay. And this is the next page. Oh. Ah. Now this is to authenticate it. 
please tell us about the executor, administrator, personal representatives. Now this is when you go in and you spell your stuff right. There. First name, no middle. Last name, suffix, and of course, social in there. You're the executor or executrix. Click that. Over here, hit continue. And go on to the next one. <clears throat> All right. Here's the mailing address for the estate. Care of the street. Your street in here. I took it out for the screenshot. Even though it's, not, it's a secret. Phone number. Put in there, do you have a U.S. address that is different from above? No. Unless you do. And then come over here and hit continue. This is tell us about your estate. This is the name right here, Floyd Pleasant Tarvin. Floyd Pleasant Tarvin, the fourth estate. It's in Harris, Texas, June. And you can only go back to 1997, so that's what you want to put in there for right now. Closing month of the count year, December, of course. Get all that in there. Continue. Tell us more about your state. Do you have or do you expect to have employees in the next 12 months? No. And hit continue. All right, how would you like to receive your EIM confirmation letter? I'm going to receive this online. Make sure you have Adobe. Hit continue. All right, additional information about your EIN, we suggest you print this page for your records. 
and uh, just gives you a little information where you can use your EIN, opening a bank account, applying for business licenses, filing a tax return by mail. Um, and hit continue down here at the bottom. And it's going to send you this notice as soon as you sit, hit continue. Say so thank you for using the online EIN assistant. And then we are going to. about less than six seconds you get an email that's what it's going to be irs department of treasury internal revenue service floyd pleasant carbon the fourth estate floyd pleasant carbon the fourth x date of this notice july 21st 2021 there's my new EIN SS4 form. This particular instrument right here is called the CP575B. If you need assistance, call this number, and you're not going to get any assistance calling that number. <laughs> Always happens. Yeah, I've done that over and over and over. Um, this basically tells you what they're doing. Reminders, and then everybody knows what this is. Turn this part with any correspondence so you may identify your account. Please correct any errors in your name or address. If anything is incorrect in here, send this back, give them a notice. I'm following any uh, any forms. Send this with them to recognize, so this they'll recognize who you are. There's your employment identification number, and this is of course the coupon we're supposed to be using to discharge all this debt. But I've yet to see it be effective. So, but I did send some uh, investigation uh, referrals. Ogden, Utah, and it did include these, so we're going to see how that works. But anyway, that's what you get out of that. Okay, now do you have to go through all the other stuff to do this piece, or no? Stuff. Good stuff. Um, like changing your name, like um, getting the... No, you could do this, like, while I was doing it, you could have been doing it. Really? Oh, yeah. I thought you had to change your name before you could do all that stuff. Mm, you don't have to. All you're doing is going and claiming your estate, notifying the IRS. Okay. That's all you're doing. And I could, I could get this video off the off your line, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Okay. Sounds good. Cause I'll do that now. I'll, I'll go do that tomorrow to see what I can do and. And then you use that for your bank accounts and stuff like that? Yes, you can. Credit cards, Dun & Bradstreet, uh, business reports, um, Standard & Poor's, uh, any one of those commercial uh, credit agencies. You want to register with them. Hmm. That way you can start establishing uh, corporate commercial business credit as opposed to personal credit. Okay. Um, you're going to destroy that anyway once you learn more of this process. Okay. All right. That sounds good to me because I just didn't know what you did with all that. So, but okay. it, it will work. If you do your car loans and stuff like that with this thing, with with that, with that number or what? Or just your credit cards um, and your bank? No, not with that number. 
you can use that. You can use that number to come tax exempt and do. Tax okay, exempt. that's what. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tax exempt number. Okay. Yeah, because your state's buying everything. You know, your, your state owns it, not you. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, remember, Sounds control good. everything yep. and own nothing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, very much how it works. Okay. All right. We're going to jump into the next one. And that okay. would be the uh, SS Social Security Administration, SS5 uh, FS, the amendment. So we'll walk through Okay. That. Right. Okay.